Hello everyone, welcome to another review with me, John. Today I'm going doing another uh, review of an interesting produce that I got um, online at a company called Miami Fruit. You might have seen my banana video that I did with my son, where we taste a whole bunch of bananas that came in their sample box. Well, today I'm going to be doing another interesting take on a fruit. I think it's a fruit. It might be a nut. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a piece of produce that you might have tried in a different form before, but I'm going to show you a new form that you may not have heard of or ever seen or know that existed. And it is a type of coconut. And this is what it looks like when it comes to you. As you can see, this coconut has a, a long beginnings of a palm growing out of it. It has some roots growing out of the bottom of it. And this is what's considered a sprouted coconut. Um, at the stores, you might have seen young coconuts. Young coconuts are taken off the tree before they fall off. Um, the husks are usually trimmed down and they're usually like wrapped in a plastic wrap and you'll see them at the store. And uh, what those are, they have a lot of juice in them and not a whole lot of meat and the meat that is there is kind of soft. And those ones, usually they're good for drinking and getting coconut water out of. And the coconut water is usually nice and sweet. The second form you might have seen are what's usually sold as called brown coconuts. And those have matured on the tree and fallen off, fallen off the tree naturally. And they're picked up within a day of them falling off the tree. Uh, they're usually, the whole husk is taken off down to the brown um, coconut part that you're used to and those are sold in stores and they usually have some uh, some level of coconut water in them and more of a denser uh, chewier type of meat. Now if you were to take that mature brown coconut and let it sit on the ground for upwards of one to two months sometimes even longer it'll start sprouting sometimes you'll get a little sprout sometimes you'll get a longer sprout like this Sometimes you'll start seeing roots like this. But a curious thing happens in that time. All of the juice, all the coconut water, gets absorbed by that flesh, that meat of the coconut, and it turns into something that looks like this. Now, this did not come from this one. You see, this one is not open yet. But uh, during this introduction, I might have also put some video somewhere with a, a video of me opening it up and you'll see this coconut I've broken into see I haven't really completely husked it I just took off enough to get to the shell and then I cracked the shell using this relatively heavy thick uh, blade knife I like this one it's serrated so I can get through all this fibery stuff and then once I got to the shell I can just use the heel part here. I'm just going to give it a good crack and crack that shell open. Now, interesting, you'll see that there is some what looks like meat still on the shell and inside the shell. You'll see some whiteness in there. But all of the water, all the moisture has been taken out of this. And this is really, if, you, if I put my finger on here, you can see that I'm getting the this whiteness off of here and if you rub that you'll see that that is all oil that's all coconut oil and you can rub that into your skin it's just it's just pure coconut butter coconut fat see how glistening my fingers are and you could use that as a moisturizer for your hands for your hair any part of your body You'll have a little bit of a coconut smell and a really good moisturizer for your body. But anyway, let's get to this part. The meat of the coconut that's inside of a sprouted coconut. You'll see that when I crack this open, it's kind of like soft and pillowy almost cottony and you could see 
I could pull out some of the fibers of it. It's very fluffy. Almost like a foam, like it if you cut open your pillow or your mattress and it had foam, it almost might look like that. However, you couldn't do this. See how like bright white in the middle that is? There's still there's a lot of yellow on the outside. Once you're in the middle, it's very, very white. Very spongy. Because basically what this is is the fiber and the the moisture from the meat that used to be there on the shell absorbing all the coconut juice, expanding out like a sponge using the nutrients in the water in the meat to start creating the branches start creating the roots and leaving this this is basically this ball is what the plant is using uh, as energy source to grow and you could taste there's still a lot of sugar in here but it doesn't really taste like you would think a typical coconut would. To the saltiness, or to the sweetness, there's actually a little bit of saltiness to it as well. And just the texture of it is way different than any coconut product you can think of. You usually think of coconuts like really fibery, get stuck in your teeth. And even though like you might like the flavor, you might not like the texture. Well, this is completely different. This is like the cotton candy of the natural world. It's fluffy. It's a little sweet, a little salty. And overall, delicious snack. This is a little tough to get to. And besides Miami fruit, I don't know where else you would find a sprouted coconut. And I don't think you could take a young coconut and wait for it to sprout, or a brown coconut and wait for it to sprout. I think it has to naturally fall from the tree and sit in that place until it starts sprouting. And then you have to go through all the trouble of cutting through all this fiber and breaking through the shell. Pulling out the cotton candy ball in the middle. But when you do, very delicious snack. And you can go to miamifruit.org and order a box of these, and they will ship directly to your door. And if you're curious enough to try them, I would recommend it. They taste delicious. You get the added benefit of coconut oils the rub moisturize yourself with anyways I thought I hope you found this video to be interesting hope you uh, got you interested in this sprouted coconut it kind of looks like a brain on the outside if you ask me but it tastes delicious and I've had brain and it doesn't taste delicious well some of them did but that's another story in another video Hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye.